also working with other outside companies to ship those items overseas at a minimal cost. They also have volunteers on the ground in Ukraine who are waiting for those shipments to come in so they can hand deliver them to families. Our guys are risking their life to do everything what they can to help others. Our goal is to deliver this aid as soon as possible, as fast as possible. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Thank you. Over the weekend, hundreds of families came to the fundraiser here at Grace Fellowship Center. Boxes piling up filled with food, clothes, and first aid kits. By Monday, those boxes were packed up. And on Wednesday, the supplies in the air. Uh, left today to Poland, and by Friday, it should be at the Poland border. Shipping company Meast America donating the space on their plane to take the shipment, saving the church $30,000. This shipment that just went out, it doesn't cost us nothing, and we are able to spend this money to buy the fuel for the volunteers, and we are able to buy the supply on ground in Poland because it gets delivered faster. Delivered to families who have nothing left. We have mothers running away with four kids with one suitcase. You know, they don't have even, you know, necessary things, you know, for them. And they depend on, you know, those people with the open heart to help them. Here's video as a truckload of supplies arrives to a distribution center in Ukraine. Grace Evangelical Church even receiving a thank you video from a church where some of the supplies was delivered. My heart is bleeding for my people at this moment. And this is the the least that I can do. Protective equipment is another major necessity. Oh, they were looking to find a way to protect them from not just gunfire, but shrapnel. Jake Bame is also involved with the Save a Warrior organization, which connects him to local law enforcement. With their help, the church is also able to send protective gear overseas. And in real time, we can see what their needs are. Those needs changing every day. And a 22-year-old young man is texting me, can you get me a mask? I can't breathe in the burning buildings. And so for me, we can talk about this in coffee shops and how sad it is, or we can do something. We don't treasure the freedom that we have. We are not stopping. I'm, we are not stopping until the war stops and whatever. I know once the dust settles, we're going to see even more tragedy, tragedy as we see right now.